saw a post on Facebook of a soccer club taking a photo of like 20 players from their club that's going to the U.S. National Team Identification Center. Something like that. And they're like, look at us. We're, go- we're taking our kids to the U.S. National Team Identification Center. And then they put DA. All because of DA. Oh, DA. What would we do without the DA system? It's a system that develops players. It's an academy that we have. And we produce players. And they're selling it. They're selling it. And it works. So that's why they're going to do it. But at the same time, is there any, like, thought to, are these kids really that good? And then I researched it a little bit. It's just, they're trying to increase the player pool. For identifying talent for the U.S. national team. Player pool? Um, So they're creating a player pool. So isn't the player pool the United States? Isn't isn't that our player pool? I mean, the ones that are playing club soccer or playing soccer in general. Isn't that our players pool? Is there no... I mean, we have ODP, which is not real. I guess it's a form of identification. Um, Then we have the developmental academies that are going into the U.S. national team um, camps, basically, to create a bigger pool of players to be able to see and increase the player pool. Do we really need it in in increase the player pool? So so this... um, this, uh, Identification Academy system with U.S. Soccer is going to give these kids an opportunity to feel what it's like to to play um, at the levels you need to play at at the uh, U.S. National Team systems, whatever that is. I already know what it is. It's just another camp, and I think they're going to outfit them with like USA, you know. Uh, uniforms and stuff like that or whatever so they feel like they actually are and we're giving things to make them have a chance to put on Facebook social media you know to look at me and TikTok it and and whatever it just it's just garbage we're just we're just it's like we're going to Big Surf you know we're very excited about that that's it, and that's what soccer's become. It's soccer's become okay. Uh, it's ODP se- uh, season. It's our uh, DA weekend uh, over here, over here, over there, all over the United States. We're gonna go play games in the middle of nowhere. Um, to now, we have these national identification centers. That's another uh, joke. Uh, I just don't understand. I'm like, why can't? Why can't? We just identify talent. Oh, that player's good. Good. Well, I just don't get it. In basketball, so Mike Bibby in middle school, in eighth grade, he was identify, identified as one of the top 100 uh, basketball players in the country. How? How is that possible? How could they identify Mike Bibby as one of the top players in the country? I was confused. I'm like, how do they know this kid's good? Why? Um, their basketball coach, basketball coaches in high school identified them early because they would watch them play in middle school and uh, identify this player is amazing. And then they would basically network through conversation saying this is one of the best players we've ever seen. We don't have that system. I mean, I've seen a lot of players. I've seen unbelievable talent. I've seen players that are just ridiculous. And I I don't have anyone to call and say, and say hey, uh, here's I consider this one of the best players in Arizona. We, how come we can't do that? Why can't we be like that? No, we're going to create some fake camp, fake identification system, fake academy, fake ODP, fake, 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 fake.
If you like this podcast, you just might like my website. Go to coachcamera.com to find more free content that you can learn about a different way of doing things. I have a website that shows videos and other free access to Facebook Live, Instagram, and other social media platforms that allow you to see what I actually do in person, and it's free. Also, Anchor is the app I use for this podcast, which is free to me. Not only is it free to me, but I get to make money off it. I make money when people listen to these ads. So if you are interested in starting your own podcast, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. So here's here's the deal. The reason I throw a fit about this, about how we dis, disguise these different programs and and whatever we're DA and all that. Here's the problem I have. I I love competition. I love to compete. Better product will sell more, right? Unless it's influenced by a greater power like the government. So capitalism is great. But crony capitalism is not great. It's horrible. It's disgusting. It's basically, for the ones that don't know, crony capitalism is is uh, running your business, gaining an advantage by using government influence. So you basically, you're, you're getting lobbyists to manipulate the government to get an advantage over the competition. That's crony capitalism. We don't want that. That's garbage. That's the same thing going on in youth youth soccer. You have these soccer clubs catering to the greater power, which is U.S. soccer, to get benefits from them and to manipulate the public to thinking you are the program of choice because you have this DA program or whatever it is through U.S. soccer. And this is the pathway to whatever. It's it's garbage. It's not competition. It's not. And it, if you have cr- this whole crony capitalism of U.S. soccer and these clubs are affiliated, which is disgusting, by the way, to, to do things that way, to, to win competition through that versus being innovative and actually do the right thing by developing players. You're not developing players. And you know, you know it. You're trying to win now. You're trying to get the money now and forfeit the opportunity of true development which takes time that's how I think that's uh, my main main outrage with US soccer why can't we identify like basketball football and the other baseball the major sports who's good and who's not either they are or they aren't why can't I say hey I saw this 10 year old Phenom and send it in to the national team staff or whatever, how they keep pulls, create a database and create a top 100, a top 200 or whatever. Why can't we do that? It, it should be that simple. And then ranking should be based on, um, on coaches that can identif- identify talent that doesn't get paid, doesn't get anything other than their name is put in a magazine or whatever. So there's some incentive to actually look, but there needs to be a system where we identify talent. It's eyes. And if, if I was a, if I worked for us soccer and to identify players, and if I submitted players that were not good and you, then you're no, no longer effective. You won't be used. I. That's how I recruit at Phoenix College. Everyone's like, how do you recruit at Phoenix College? It's very simple. All I do is call people I trust and say, hey, who should I look at? And they tell me and I go look and that's how I get my team. I don't go, I don't go to field to field and go, oh, where's the talent? Where's the talent? I don't do that. I don't even go out there. The only time, the only time I'm out there is because someone told me and I'm basically trying to to show them that I'm very interested and I want to sign them. So I I literally go out there, look, 
looking to do that. That's how I do it. Why isn't U.S. Soccer doing the same thing? That, that That's how you do it. Simple networking. So those are my thoughts today. Forgive me for the rant, but I'm assuming that's why you listen. Goodbye.